What's up, Voofs? It's Fox here on Fox Cloud TV. I'm back. A lot of Dawn of War 3 coming up in the next few days. And we got a new patch. A brand new patch. Patch notes August 29th, 2017. It's basically Dawn of War 3.0. <laughs> and I'm Fox 3.0 right here to be your narrator. Going down those patch notes, reading them all, and all checking out basically what changed. So, I would say let's get right into it, right? So, let's see what we have here. So, patch, overview, new, modding tools added. Modding tools added? I need to check that out, actually. Who knows, I might become a modder for this game. I've already done, done modding for other games, so I've even made my own games. Yeah, that's a thing. I will do something on that channel, on my channel, about my own games at some point, but not now. Whatever. We're, we're, we're going somewhere else here. So, Steam Workshop support uh, added for new mod tools. Alright, whatever. So, autosave, added to campaign, and balance update. Yeah, that's general. So, general changes to gameplay. Yes! <laughs> Vehicle health upgrades will now apply to player-made structures. Uh, buildable turrets for all factions have had their power costs decreased from 60 to 50. Uh, these are two different things. Why is there just one dot here? See that? Whatever. So, so yeah. So, uh, vehicle health upgrades will now apply to play mode structures. That means also buildable turrets. It has to. And also buildable turrets uh, have now their power cost. I, I still wish it would be 30, not 50. 50 is still too much, in my opinion. But now that they actually get... Well, they should have the vehicle health upgrades. Uh, maybe, maybe it's even worth it now. Who knows? Well, I, I'll test them out. I'll test out everything! Now next, Diomedes, Terminators, Matt Dread, and Wraith Blades no longer gain fury while attacking neutral objects. That's actually good. That's a that's a cool thing. Okay. The slowing effect from Devastators, Upgraded Looters, Terminators, and Dark Reapers are now classed as a new status effect. Suppression. Well that's what I have that's basically what I have always been saying. Suppression is in the game, guys. It has been from the beginning. They just didn't call it suppression. But no, people are still said over oh, the game didn't have suppression. Whatever, fr fr friggin' friggin' dib dib you. <laughs> so, so now it's official, officially suppression. Uh, next one, suppression does not stack with other sources of suppression, but the highest value of suppression will override the other sources. Oh, I see, it's interesting. Okay, did they stack before? I think it didn't. Uh, economy. Now oh, this is what they were talking about earlier. Let's begin. With power generators, initial requ requisition cost increased from 80 to 100. Okay, that's a slight increase by one fifth, 20 percent. <coughs> Delicious. Okay, whatever. Power generator scaling requisition cost increased from 16 to 50. Ooh, expensive. Uh, power rate per generator decreased from 25 to 20. Power reward. From killing enemy shield generators, decreased from 100 power to 50 power. They they have weird thing here with these dots. Uh, so we still will get 50 power from shield generators instead of 100, but we will still get power. So that's a thing. Um, it seems we're still getting the elite point when destroying a shield generator. Huh? I thought they wanted to remove that. I actually would love them to remove it, but they didn't. So whatever. Uh, but, but, uh, having the power generator scaling requisition cost increase from 60 to 50, all these cost changes here just means that uh, harassing power generators is even worth more, more payback than before. So actually targeting, targeting those power generator farms is actually a very, very good idea now. It has been a good idea always, but it will be even worse now. So defend those. Escalation phases. Phase 2. Power generators bonus increased from 50 to 87.5 percent what uh, okay uh, phase 3 power generators bonus increased from 50 to 62.5 percent and power phase 4 power generator bonus increased from 25 to 30 percent so that's more power the further you get into the game so that's okay whatever more tanks more vehicles I like it I like it tactical marine now let's see we're in space marines now space marine changes Reduced damage of flamer upgrade from 5 to 3.75. What is that, about 4th? It's about a 4th, right? So, yeah, that's okay. A 4th weaker in general. Reduced damage over time for uh, a flamer upgrade from 
flamer upgrade. Why did why don't they just call it flame? Whatever. Uh, from twenty to eight. Holy smack! It's less than half you get from the burn. That's actually good. It's always very annoying to have your uh, stun stunnable squad attack those flamers, and they just get to flame you for a millisecond. You still get all that damage. Now you need to actually have them in the flames to get a good effect. And that's that's fair. I like it. Reduce cost of flamer upgrade from 75 requisition 50 power to 75 requisition 40 power. So it's 10 power less. Okay. I, I mean, with the damage reduction, sure. I see that. I see that. It makes it more an uh, interesting option. But still, we'll, we'll have to test it out, I guess. Reduced cost of plasma gun upgrade from 100 requisition 50 power to 75 requisition 40 power. Oh, oh, that. that. Actually, I think more players will use plasma guns more early now. Uh. This is a significant change. Okay. But no damage reduction or whatever. Okay, okay, I guess that's good. Bug fixes. Frag grenade. Fix the bug where frag grenades would fail to throw when tactical marines with plasma guns were overheating. I didn't even know that happened. Let's actually not read these. No, we won't, we won't read these. They're just basically... Uh. They're for, for process into what they changed, but we'll, I'll just give you my thoughts instead. So... Um, yeah, for tank marines, I like the flamer changes. This sounds pretty good. And uh, let's see what happens next. So, scout sniper, dark trains, hidden. This has been changed to an activated ability. What? It now grants stealth and increased movement speed by 1.5 for 20 seconds. So you just activate it and you run. It's basically the same thing as the Dire Avengers have. The Dire Avengers, Captain America's. Uh, okay, that's that's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> might be a little overpowered. We'll have to see what happens. So, cover fire. This has been changed to a toggled ability. To a toggled ability, okay. Uh, not entirely sure what they mean by that. Need to test it. So, while active, shoot shot supply is slow. That does not stack with other suppression effects. So, scouts now give suppression. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, this is interesting us right now. So, scouts. Uh, Cost increased from 200 requisition to 250. Yeah, I heard about that. Uh, damage increased uh, from 1.15 to 1.44. That's about that's about 30% increase. So that's pretty strong, pretty strong, or 25% increase, something like that. Uh, blind grenade stun duration reduced from three seconds to 2.5. So if you use blind grenades, you need to be even more micromanageable to have some some good plays going to happen. So that's pretty good. So, Heavy Bolter Devastator. New upgrade option added to the armory. Improved suppression, 60 rec, 60 power. Uh, when researched, Heavy Bolter Devastator's slow on hit is increased to minus two speed. Uh, so they, what, what do they do? Minus one, but if you do this, they're minus two. Okay, I need to check this out, but that sounds actually pretty interesting. It's a high power cost though. But double the minus speed? Maybe it's worth it, depends, I guess. Okay, last cannon does Devastator. This is gonna be interesting. This is gonna be interesting. Beam intensity free. Uh, so that's the max, I guess. Damage reduced from uh, 6.5 to 5.24. So that's a slight decrease in power. So that's pretty good so far. Beam intensity charges at half speed while firing at infantry units. <laughs> I, actually, I actually would have completely removed it. Do not increase beam intensity by firing at infantry units. But okay, half speed. It's progress, I guess. Time to charge to full beam intensity increase from 8 seconds to 9 seconds. Okay. So, it's just general... A general nerf. I still would have preferred setup time, but... I guess we'll see how this works out. Land speeder! Dark trains! Lone wolf! Well, let's see what that happens here. No longer deactivates when close to allies. Huh? What? But that's what it's about, no? It will only deactivate when too close to your own true. Oh, okay, okay. So, have a land speeder with your allies' army, and it will still have the boost. Okay, it's weird, but still, okay, why not? I guess it's still a lone land speeder if it's like in the middle of an orc squad, whatever. Lone wolf uh, area of effect decreased by half. Area of effect decreased by half? Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, well, that. Whatever, lone wolf buffs nerf buffs uh, <laughs> whirlwind inferno missiles initial damage reduced from 45 to 63 
Uh, Inferno missiles. That is, that is by. Uh, that's the elite doctrine, right? Inferno missiles damage over time reduced from 19.2 damage per second to 12 damage per second per missile. Okay. Inferno missiles missile scatter increased from 0 to 15. Okay. We'll have to see how that works out. Uh, da -da -da -da. Chaplain Diomedes. Let's see what he has for changes. Fix the bug where Diomedes could move while casting liturgies of battle. Oh, he could? Okay, whatever. Uh, fix the bug where the uh, Diomedes buffs would disappear after casting when he is disabled. That also happened? Never knew. Never noticed. Additional changes. Drop pods no longer cause damage to multi multiplayer objectives. She generators, turrets, and power cores. Okay, whatever. Uh, blessing of the Omnissiah. Healing per second increased from 6 to 30. What? And remove the plus 2 passive health uh, heal and regeneration while in combat. Okay. That sounds like a lot, but we'll have to just see it in action, I guess. Improve Death Storm. Oh, let, let's see what they actually change here. For the first 15 seconds after deployment, Death Storm dropped pods project in Aura. That grants 250 shields to nearby you. What? Nearby units? Wait, what? The shield will persist for a short duration, even if the units leave the aura or the death storm is destroyed. Multiple death storms do not cause this effect to stack, but they will heal existing shields of the same type. Holy sh! Wow. Okay, a very unexpected change. So death storms is now also a healing. I'm sorry to say this, but I think this is gonna be broken. So we got we got one broken thing here. This is just my opinion, just by reading this, but I think this is gonna be broken. We'll we'll have to see, I guess. Howling Banshee, quick strike cost reduced from 75. Oh, we're we're on Eldar now, by the way. Eldar changes. Howling Banshee, quick strike cost reduced from 75 acquisition to uh, 50 power to 75 for acquisition, 40 power. So 10, 10 cheaper, whatever. Uh, quick strike damage increased from 30 to 45. So plus 50% damage for the quick strike. Well, maybe more players will use it. I will try to use it more often. I already try to use it very often as possible uh, in my last few uh, free v free games I did play. But I did play for a while because I was waiting for the patch. But now we're here, right? That's a patch time, yes. Yes. Okay, Dark Trees, Banshee Rage. Instead of triggering after six kills, now requires 900 damage to be done. Holy smack! We have a Banshee Rage Doctrine now. <laughs> I'm saying it like it never happened before because, well, six kills, you know. But yeah, Banshee Rage will now be usable against Space Marines. Go figure. And it might, might even be very effective. I need to check that out. So, Banshees, a lot of buffs, a lot of buffs. Dark Reaper, okay. Doctrines. Teleport beacon. Oh, that was so useless. That stupid. It, it, it disappeared after a few seconds. It was so stupid. Beacon no longer expires after you do it. Ha! Ha! Oh, my bears! Yeah, I guess that's exactly what I just said. Uh, thank you! That's great. Teleport beacon. Reduced cast time on beacon deploy from 5 seconds to 3 seconds. Okay, that's very good. Gain 3 seconds of instant setup and tear down after using recall. Okay, no longer have to tear down if squads already set up and the beacon is cast with rage. Sounds good. And Reaper Focus. No longer increases line of sight while in heavy cover and stealth cover. That was that was kinda useless. Uh, if Dark Reapers are within range of the webway gate, so in the entire gate range, right? Movement speed gate, whatever, their uh, range attacks will slow enemy units by minus one. What? Suppression for Dark Reapers? Are you friggin' kidding me? Okay, so Eldar got suppression now, guys. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad. It's just minus one, but still. And you need the doctrine, so you need, okay, you need to use the doctrine for that. But that seems pretty good. Pretty good, Ranger. Cost decreased from 330 requisition 20 power to 330 requisition 15 power. Yeah, it's probably because of the. Increased power co power cost shit, so that makes sense. Ranger focus, damage increased by 25%. <laughs> so slight ranger buffs. Okay. Wraith blade. Oh no. Speed increased from 3 to 4. No! Shit. Actually, 
In my opinion, wraith, blade were, wraith blades were never underpowered. They were just underused for what reason whatsoever, but they were not underpowered. They're, they definitely were not. So, speed increase. Oh, shit. So that means that they also get more speed, even more by uh, by gates. Oh, 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 wraith blades incoming. Increased rate of fury generation for vengeance by 50%. Uh, okay. Uh, doctrine, swift vengeance. Functionality of this doctrine has been overhauled. Okay. Swift vengeance now causes wraith blades to move as if they were... are within range of a webway gate. What? When vengeance is full. Okay. Uh, although this effect does not stack with fleet of foot. Interesting. Seems pretty good. Might, might, use, might try it out. Wraith Guard! Doctrines. <laughs> Enhanced battle focus. Energy drain reduced from 60 per shot to 50 per shot and no longer drains 2 energy per second while active. Okay. Also interesting. Viper! Oh, I heard that they would buff these guys. Health increased from 375 to 450. Ooh, it's a big health increase. Shields increased from 125 to 150. Okay. Didn't they say they wanted to do uh, health shield ratios different for Eldar tanks? Well, what happened to that? Missile launcher rotation rate increased from 58 to 174. Oh, well, that's when they shoot and it like takes forever to actually hit the target. Now it hits them earlier. Okay. Doctrines, temporal mine. Casting time is now instant. Okay. Uh, activation time is now instant. <laughs> okay. Increased activation radius by 60%. Okay. Stun duration decreased from 3 seconds to 2 seconds. Okay, makes sense. Uh, the stun now occurs when the bomb first explodes. And uh, that makes temporal stun pretty good. Oh, that, oh that, that was temporal stun. Temporal mind, temporal stun. Okay. Viper haste. When attacking, uh, when attacked, gain 50% movement speed. When attacked, for five seconds and reduce damage received by 50%. So as soon as they get attacked, they get 50% movement speed and 50% damage reduction. That sounds a bit broken, but I guess okay. They really want people to use Viper. Viper haste can no long can only trigger once every 20 seconds. Yeah, they need something like that. I would even make it 30 seconds, whatever. Viper Haste no longer grants a burst of speed when shields are destroyed. Oh, that's the old thing, yeah. <laughs> wow, so Viper Haste is actually extremely good. You could just make a bunch of Vipers go hit, go somewhere and fight, and then after like 5 seconds just leave. Wait 20 seconds and go again. You would always get 50% less damage. That sounds, that sounds ridiculous. Wow, okay. <laughs> okay, bug fixes. Fix the bug where temporal mines could be targeted in the fog of war. Okay, I see. Falcon! Falcon haste changed to an activated ability that increases movement speed by 3 for 10 seconds. Oh, that's pretty good. I would have. Actually, I would have changed the name of Viper haste, in my opinion. But yeah, Falcon haste makes sense, though. Okay, I like it. I like it, actually. For some, uh, good for some maps with a lot of gaps. You could just put Wraith Blades in there and haste somewhere, you know, or to escape. That's pretty good. It makes up for good tactics. So, Ranger Ronin. Ron Ronan. Fire rate reduced from 9 seconds to 7 seconds. Auto attacks. Ooh, that will hurt. That will hurt Space Marines especially. Ooh. Time to, uh, generate a ch oh, oh, Yeah, whatever. Time to regenerate... Generate a charge outside of stealth cover lowered from 85 seconds to 60 seconds. That's good. Uh, time to generate charge outside stealth cover lowered from 57 seconds to 40 seconds. So basically, standing outside cover is now as as if you were standing inside cover pre-patch. And outside uh, inside cover is plus 33 percent. So yeah, pretty good. But yeah, bug fixes. Fix the bug where Ro Ronan had to set up. His rifle again after Snapfire had expired. Oh, whatever. Bug, bug fixes. Wraith Lord! Damage increased from 250 to 350. That sounds good. Glavy Charge damage increased from 200 to 500. Holy schmack! 
Glaive charge damage type change from true to armor piercing. Okay, that's not... Glaive charge. Uh, speed increased from 8 to 10. So I guess while he's dashing. Uh, eternal wall duration increased from 8 seconds to 12 seconds. Big boss for the wave lord. I guess he's worth picking now. Uh, at least for one on one, I'd say. Maybe for 22. Additional changes. Shield generation upgrade power cost reduced from 75 to 60. Yeah. Shield generation upgrade power. Shield generation upgrade power cost reduced from 75 to 60. Shield generation. Let me read that one more time. Shield generation upgrade power cost reduced from 75 to 60. My mind is blank. I don't get it. I don't get it. So, so, somebody in the comment section let me know what this means. Okay. Reinforcement now returns uh, one, 1 by uh, X percent of the squad's shields when X is the number of models left in the squad. Oh yeah, that's what I heard about. Now uh, replenishing squads will increase their shields. Basically, what, I, what that means is uh, when you have a almost dead Dire Vendor squad with only one model and you would build, rebuild all the models, he should have like a, a pretty good amount of shields then afterwards. So that's pretty good. And this also makes uh, a territorial early territorial fights way better and way easier for Eldar. I had that one video where I was fighting a space marine near, near a shield uh, b shield bubble. That was ridiculous, but I still managed somehow. If this was in place during that fight, I would have easily won. Easily. So this might actually be very strong. So let's see what happens, right? Uh, vehicle shield upgrades increased in effectiveness from 25% to 50%. Vehicle shield upgrades increased. Oh! Okay, now I get it. That's that's good. Deployable energy shields no longer requires tier two. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Uh, deployable deployable energy shields re uh, power cost reduced from fifty to thirty. Oh, nice. Deployable energy shields health decre decreased from one five to one thousand. Okay, I guess since it's tier one, whatever. Deployable energy shields construction time increased from twenty to thirty. I'm gonna try out these deployable shields. You can do a lot of bullshit with that, especially since you block movement. Do not underestimate the block movement. Uh, it's sometimes it's even worth way more than the shielding itself. Oh, well, let me drink. Let me drink, take a sip. I'm dry. Ooh. Ah, so orc changes, boy, <laughs> boy. Uh, thump from the sky, boys. Now pick a nearby target position and channel. Pick a nearby target position and channel. Gaining a uh, charge every 1.25 seconds, up to a maximum of 3 seconds. At the end of the ability, if the unit is not killed or disrupted, disruption means stuns and shit, right? Uh, it will deal 20 damage in a 6 meter radius and knock back enemies. Um, yeah, okay. I mean, it's not too different to what it was. What I what I wish they would add is to make it able to make every squad able to do it. Channel time reduced uh, from 4.25 seconds to 3.875 seconds. Just seconds. <laughs> Those patch note writers. Uh, okay, whatever. Uh, reduced knockback uh, distance by 63%. Ooh, okay. Uh, removed global cold. Ah, that's what I just now said. Thank you. Nice. Now you can spam it. Okay, I'm gonna use that doctrine. Uh, can at least. An orc versus orc. This is gonna be a lot of fun in orc versus orc. Believe me. Uh, can now be interrupted during channeling. Yeah, of course. So basically, if both if both player have the same uh, doctrine and both squads would clash, for the first to use the thump this thump from the sky would be would cancel out the other one because yours will rain down earlier. I guess. So that's funny. Uh, Luda. Uh, let's see. Magnets decrease the cooldown from 60 seconds to 40 seconds. Oh, uh, magnets for 10 seconds. Lunas are under the effect of magnetic boost, which allows them to instantly set up and tear down. What? That's gonna be interesting. That's actually I I I would try that. <laughs> I need to try all of this stuff. Bug fixes. Fix the bug where looters would often try to run back to their original position after using magnetic boost. Oh, yeah, I had that once when I tried that doctrine before. So, tank buster. Oh, some nerfs, please. Squigs can now be auto-targeted by enemy units. Yeah, squigs have lower attack priority, priority than other units. 
Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. Now you can't just squig snipe buildings with, when the player doesn't notice that something's happening. This is very good. And you can still you can still send a squad of slugs to uh, basically bomb something so it wouldn't, so the squigs wouldn't be auto-targeted. So that's pretty good. I love it. Big, big change. Nice. Defcopter. Oh, do something with Buffer, please. I want to use them more. Fidget spinners! Uh, health increased from 550 to 650. Okay. Damage increased from 9.25 to 11.1. .1. Okay. It's buffs. Okay. Doctrines. Warning grot. Oh, that was so useless. Now deals 300 armor piercing death. Oh, it's a mine now. I need. Oh, we need death copters, guys. Take out that dark tree and play death copters. My right hand is dead. What the hell? So, um, kill can. Decrease the. What's with my right hand? Decrease the max number of rocket charges after looting from 6 to 5. Okay, good. Long range rockets. Now requires a minimum of free rockets to trigger. Okay. Triggering the ability costs free rockets. Fair. Uh, recharge time lowered from 30 seconds to 25 seconds. Okay, provides vision as they are traveling. Whatever. So, uh, fix the bug where long range rockets would sometimes deal damage to allies. <laughs> what? They did? Uh, okay. Uh, so, big truck. Smoke shells. Oh, they were so useless. I hope they're fixing the button layout because smoke shells would be on R if you use the Doctrine, but that kind of sucks because you need R for moving backwards. Uh, grants 35% damage reduction to allied units in the smoke shells. That's really good! But I guess they didn't fix the button, did they? I guess I'd have to test it to see. But if they didn't, then that sucks. It's a bug, guys. You need to fix that. So, Death Dread. Doctrines. Bigger scrap shields. Increase cooldown from 45 to 6 seconds. Okay, now heals up to 1,000 health over time. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm gonna use that again. Uh, fix the bug where bigger scrap shield did not always block range damage. These bugs. Weird boys out now. Scrap blast cooldown increased from 20 seconds to 30 seconds. Good. Commando. Commando knob. It should be Commando knob. Or whatever. Uh, health increased from 2.5 to 2.8. Okay. Sneaky speed bonus increased from 2 to 3. What's with my right hand? I am serious right now. Why is this happening during recording? Whatever. Okay, bug fixes. Fix the bug where his shotgun would not knock enemies back if he had uh, attacked from stealth, then used sneaky to re stealth. Okay, fix the bug where stun trap would not stun units that jump into its radius. Okay, I guess that was a thing. Mad Dread. Loot passive healing increased from 300 to 475. Okay, rampage passive healing increased from uh, one uh, 1375 to 1575. Whatever, rampage passive shields increased from 1250 to 1750. Uh, okay, that's good. New ability added. What? Enables the Madred to charge forward in line, dealing damage and knocking back enemies. Colliding with a vehicle or superunit Im immobilizes and damages them for 10 seconds period. Holy shit! He already was a superunit buster, but now he's a superunit cruncher. He makes crunchy rolls out of those. <coughs> and, um... Yeah, I actually thought Madred was fine, but they just buffed it like crazy. Shit! Oh, whatever. Additional changes. Uh, Wild Tower's power cost increased from 75 requisition, 75 power, to 125 requisition and 85 power. Uh, requisition doesn't really hurt that much, but 85 power is plus 10, even though we have lesser energy cost. So, uh, it's just gonna be a guess, but probably no more knobs at minute 10, or prior to minute 10. Unless you save up every single energy you have. Maybe. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's not bad, though. It's not bad. And it's basically you need to invest into... If you want knobs, you probably cannot get any trucks any longer. And so it's trucks or knobs. Okay, okay. I can see it. I can see it. Wah buff damage bonus reduced from 50% to 35%. Oh, okay. Finally. Well, I guess Wah is weaker now. Wah buff speed bonus decreased from 3 to 2. Okay, 
Fix an issue where the war granted by Gorgot Spin and Claw uh, would stack in with the original war. Oh. That was... That would have been bad. <laughs> That's a bug, though. Whatever. So it's not additional changes, it's actually a bug fix? Those riders. Uh, longer wall upgrades. Power cost increased from 25 to 75. What? Longer wall upgrades. Requisition cost increased from 0 to 75. Okay. What, what do we get in return? Longer wall upgrade now increases the damage buff of wall to 50%. Oh, back through the original value. Longer wall upgrade. Upgrade speed buff of wall increased to 3. So basically, you, you need to purchase the previous upgrade. And it probably will also get the increased duration as well. So yeah, pile of guns no longer requires one war tower of, to construct. Oh, that actually, I actually thought of that uh, to be a good change. Now you can actually ditch your war, your first war banner. Uh, go for a turret if you have the doctrine, basically get the pile of guns or just get the pile of guns and just upgrade instantly to have stronger orcs. That's actually... I'm gonna try that right away, probably. So, uh, Scrap Site. Uh, renamed to Scrap Shielder. Yeah, they should have renamed the Viper Haste as well. If they can, why? Whatever. Scrap Shielder. Removed old properties and no longer triggers on enemies, allies, or squads. Okay. Scrap Shielder. Now grants 125 shields in a 25 meter radius. Uh, 15 meter radius around your own destroyed. Vehicles and structures. I like it. I like it. I like that. Yeah. That's good. Enjoyable. Okay. Wait, microphone. Ah. So, bug fixes. Multiplayer. Let's just. I'll just quickly read over this if there's anything interesting here. Uh, la 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 la. Multiplayer AI. What's with the AI? Multiplayer AI now builds less add-ons and listening posts and is less likely to build add-ons when owning a smaller army than their opponent. Smarter AI? <laughs> uh, this, uh, I'm smelling, I'm smelling uh, uh, two on two or three on three tag teams where one player would drop the game just to have the AI drop in and increase everyone's resources. Is that a thing? Do people do that? <coughs> No, okay. Strong, smarter AI. <laughs> smarter AI, whatever. Uh, space Marine Stand is corrupted after healing begins when no longer need to continue to heal, okay. Uh, campaign, doesn't matter right now. Units and abilities, bug, bug, keep tracking, bug. Use interface. When hovering over equipped doctrines, the description will, video will now appear in the bottom. Okay, fix uh, some two tips. Bug, where? Buh, buh, buh. Do, 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 whatever art. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. And that was, well, that was our patch report basically. Patch notes August 29, 2017. That was pretty interesting. Now, for my final thoughts, I would say uh, in general I like it. I like almost everything. There's, there's this one or two things that are kind of eh. The Viper thing with the Doctrine might actually be too strong, but we'll see. Mm, the, new, the Space Marine thing with the Drop Pod might be broken, but we'll also have to see. And uh, overall Eldar, a lot of boosts for Eldar. Uh, I would even say now Eldar might even... Uh, talking about 101, I would say Eldar will... Eldar now have a way better chance against Space Marines and Orcs. And Orcs in general have less chance against Space Marine and Eldar. Space Marine don't really have that many changes, really, to change your playstyle. You can still do the triple Marine Squad. Uh, you're, if you do a 2 on 2, you can still do triple Marines and one player goes one Flamer into uh, Assaults. And the tactic won't really change. The Flamer is weaker, but it's, the, the, the entire thing is pretty much the same. But uh, the Eldar players will now be a much greater challenge if they use the Doctrines right. And the Orcs will be, well, different. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, uh, pretty good patch, I would say. I'll play. I'll play. I'll do a lot of videos. Um, so yeah, expect a lot of... I, I was I was slacking a bit late, lately, but that was because I was really waiting for this patch. And I kind of I kind of lost interest in Dawn of War for a tiny bit, just because 
Well, you know, every time you're waiting for a patch because they announce something, you kind of expect that and it happens, you know? But, expect a shit ton of videos now. I'm back! Fox Claw's back! What do I? <laughs> also, uh, I'm gonna do a live stream, probably two this week. I'm not gonna announce when exactly they will be, but uh, just, just stay tuned, you'll, you'll see. Uh, I will probably put uh, on, 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 on Twitch, I'm probably gonna put, set up... Uh, so uh, an event, basically, I'm gonna set up an event. But I will always, always, that's that's basically my thing, whenever I start a stream, there will always be half an hour of uh, countdown before we actually begin. So if you uh, keep keep an eye on YouTube, you'll, you might see uh, my countdown going, and that means, oh, I'm gonna be streaming in a bit. So, um, yeah, keep that in mind. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, this was pretty epic. Pretty good. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna play the game. I'm gonna play right now. <laughs> not not live streaming. Just just some random Q and Qs with a friend and stuff. But um, yeah. So if you enjoy content like this, if you enjoy my Don of our free content, and if you want to become a member of the Space Voofs, <laughs> then join us by subscribing. Also, don't forget to feed the floof. Feed the floof. You can feed the floof by hitting the like button. Floof eats likes. Make it a fat ass floofy. Floof will explode one day. Oh yeah. Yes! <laughs> so, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna see you on the other side. Fox out! <laughs>